fiction mystery quilt. Hi, I'm Linda Smith. And I'm Sue Ellen Jennings. everyone and thank you for joining us today to learn how to make four flying geese at a time. If the pattern you're using doesn't give you cutting instructions to make four flying geese at a time, you can find the measurements for fabric cutting on Deb Tucker's website under Wing Clipper Instructions. Follow your pattern's instruction for cutting your large squares and for cutting your small squares, and then arrange them like so. And we want to scoop this in just a tiny little bit from the edge. And then I have this lovely little tool called Quilter's Magic Wand, and it um, will give me the quarter inch to the left and the quarter inch to the right of these two squares and I'm just going to mark it. If you do not have this little tiny marking tool, you can simply draw your center line and so a quarter of an inch to the left and a quarter inch to the right. I'm just going to mark my lines here. These two smaller squares are overlapped at the point right there. That is what you want. Now that I have them marked, I'm simply going to take this to the sewing machine and sew on this line and sew on that line. We're just gonna line up on our points right here and right here and cut this in half. After I cut these in half, I simply pressed the two little pieces up like so. It sort of makes a little heart shape. Then I'm going to add the remaining two small squares just inside the line, just like before, and through here, and I'm going to mark them a quarter inch to the left and a quarter inch to the right of the points. And I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew these on these lines. I have sewn these and now I'm just simply going to cut them in half between the two lines that I just drew on and sewed. Repeat for the other one. Now we're going to take this to the ironing board and we're going to press and if you'll see there's a perfect little flying goose right there. And of course we have four of them. Now that they're all pressed you can see we have four beautiful little flying geese out of the one four and a half inch square. What we're going to do now is square them and I'm going to show you two different methods. One with um, Deb Tucker's wing clipper too and one with just our regular ruler. So let's do the regular ruler first. 
So we're first going to find our quarter of an inch. And this is on a regular ruler. This is a Creative Grids ruler that does not have any 45 degree angles on it. Um, if you had 45 degree angles, you would use those to line up here. Like I have another ruler that does have them. And it also has an X. But I'm going to show you with just the regular um, ruler without the 45 degree lines on it just in case this is the ruler you have. So I'm going to line up at one and a half inches on the point because that is half of my three inches and I'm also going to line up the top of my flying goose making sure that I leave the entire quarter of an inch seam allowance there and I am simply going to trim the top off and I'm going to trim this side and then I'm going to flip this around this way. I'm going to line up on my one and three quarters line and my three inch line and then I am going to trim this side and the bottom. There you go. Now, that's one using a regular roller. If you want to purchase Deb Tucker's Wing Clipper 2, and the Wing Clipper 2 does um, fourths and um, three fourths of an inches, and her Wing Clipper 1 does a half and whole inches. Um, wing yeah. Clipper 2. If you'll notice, it has actual lines here for the three inch by one and three fourths inch and I'm going to use those to square it. So first I'm going to line up this V down here and once I have that lined off then I'm going to trim up the top and the right hand side. And then I'm simply going to flip it around and put it right in this square area that the Wing Clipper 2 has right here. And I'm going to line up my point with this X. That will give me my perfect quarter of an inch seam allowance so I can keep all of my points. So I'm lined up here and then my point is on this X. And that's all there is to it. Then I just finish this side and I'm done. Y'all check out our newest pattern, Goosing Around. It's available today at www.flashfictionmysteryquilt.com. Bye y'all.